full release for Grounded is right around the corner, and the next PTS will be even sooner. But for many of you, and for me, we've done everything there is to do in the game to this point. I have chests full of every important resource, tens of thousands of raw science saved up, and every mutation unlocked. When the next update drops, I'll be able to hit the ground running. All this preparation, however, creates a dilemma. There's not much to do right now other than hunt gold cards, so I decided to get creative and make my own game show to fill the void between now and the next update. In this video, I'll be showing you what I've built and letting you know how you can possibly play in my game show in the coming weeks. Before we begin, I want to thank Handsome Ivan, Lyndon Dade, Matthew Campbell, Stephen Van, The Overseer 91, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. Click the join button below or the link in the description to become a channel member today. Thanks again to all my channel members. Let's get started. So what I decided to do was recreate a, I believe it was a 90s game show that some of you may be too young to remember. I'm not sure if there was, I think there's been remakes of it. It's called American Gladiators. I decided to create my own version of American Gladiators called Grounded Gladiators. Came up with this idea a couple weeks ago and I just got around to being able to put it into video form. Built the everything that's on here on stream the other night with the help of the community members that were in there. And while well, they were giving me the ideas as I was building it. So thank you to all you guys who are participating and giving me feedback. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run through the games and then let you know how you can possibly be able to participate in this. And the gist of this game of American Gladiators is basically there's a bunch of contestants and then there's normally a bunch of gladiators. In this case, since we can only have four players, I'm gonna be the gladiator. We're gonna have three contestants and the contestants are going to have to participate in, right now we have five different games, might add more in the future, might tweak some of the ones we have, but essentially there's gonna be five games you're gonna participate in and you're gonna be fight, facing against each other as well as me as the gladiator and trying to accrue the most points and win advance to the next round. So the first game is gonna be called Assault. In Assault on American Gladiators, the way it worked was the contestants, I believe had some type of Nerf gun or something and shot a ball and try to hit a target. So we have the target up here, which is the picture. So what you'll do is you'll come in here, you're gonna have a sprig bow and four arrows and you'll be able to take one shot from each station. So each station is marked here. This is the first station. This is the second station. This is the third station. And this is the fourth station. You're gonna be trying to hit that target up there. As you're trying to hit the target, I will be up here manning the turret. Now in American Gladiators, the gladiator shot tennis balls at the, at the contestants. If you get hit by a tennis ball, I believe you're eliminated. I'm gonna double check the rules just to make sure. And we can obviously tweak the rules to fit the game here. But basically I'm gonna be trying to shoot you while you're doing this with peblets, all the while you're trying to hit the target up there. So that's the first game. Let's move on to the second game. Second game is another game from American Gladiators. It's called Joust. In Joust, the contestants, I'm not sure if the contestants faced each other or if they faced Gladiators. I cannot remember. So I'm going to go back and watch some old videos on YouTube just to, re just to refresh my memory to see which way it's going to work. Essentially, you're going to have one person on each pedestal up here, and you're going to be trying to knock each other off. I tested this with the Mint Mace. The Mint Mace knocks, knocks you off really easily. So I might just test some other clubs out to see which ones work the best. And essentially the way we'll do this is we'll probably do something like a best of three. So whoever knocks the other person off two out of three times or three out of three times will be declared the winner of that. Next up, we're gonna have, this is called, I think this was called Powerball. In Powerball on American Gladiators, the way this game worked was there was actually a couple gladiators and I think all the contestants were on there and there was a bucket of balls and what you had to do is put the balls in bins. Now, fortunately we have the basketball hoops, which you can throw, if you throw a pebble through them, we'll just show you lights up so it'll be easy to see if you score. In this case, the way it's gonna work is, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 1v1. So I will be the gladiator. I'm just gonna run and try to punch you and slow you down from scoring. And we'll probably do a timer and see how many points you can get in a certain amount of time or how long it takes you to score a certain amount of baskets. Also notice here, you can actually place the basketball hoops through floors if you uh, place the basketball, if you place the floors down first and then move the basketball hoops through them. So that's, a, that's Powerball. That's gonna be game number three. And we might be doing these in different orders, not sure yet. The last one's gonna be, this is Dodgeball. Now this was one of the community member or the people during my stream the other day suggested. This was not, as far as I know, an American Gladiators game, but we had to come up with another game because I couldn't make all the games since some of them just are not possible to make in Grounded. And the way this is gonna work, it's gonna be 1v1. I'm gonna spectate up there and the contestants are gonna come down here and have a round robin where you face each of the other two opponents. And we're gonna do something like, I don't know if we're gonna do the first one to hit the person wins that round of Dodgeball, something like that. We'll come up with the rules before we start the actual show, probably this week. And that's gonna be game number four. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head on over to the final game, which is gonna be the obstacle course. Otherwise, in I think in the game it was, I think in American Ladders it's called the Eliminator. So I built a giant obstacle course over by the pond. As we're walking over there, I'm gonna let you know how you can possibly get into or be participating in this game. First way you're gonna be able to do this is to make sure you hit like, like this video and let me know in the comments down below if you're interested so I can gauge the interest. 
the way I'm going to decide who is in the who gets first first dibs in playing it is going to be I'm going to try to go as fairly as possible. I'm going to go first up is going to be I'm going to send out a message to all my channel members, see how many people that are channel members are interested in doing it. After that, we're, I'm going to allow anybody who's regularly in my stream. So there's a couple people that aren't members, but they're in my streams pretty much every time. They're going to get second dibs and then after that i'm going to open it up to the everyone else so make sure you let me know in the comments down below if you're interested i might do a poll later on and then we'll figure out how many people are interested how many rounds of this we need to do i can probably i think do i'm, I'm guessing we probably can do like at least two of these per stream when i do it and the goal is to probably is to just basically have like a season where we have a bunch of different people compete the winner of each show will move on to the next round and ultimately end up facing off in a championship round and maybe we'll come up with some kind of prize for whoever wins at the end something like that now let's punch this guy out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over here and over to the pond so yeah make sure you guys do that make sure you like if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you do that and uh definitely head make sure you check out any of the live streams and we will try to get in as many people as possible i'm sure there's going to be i'm expecting there to be a lot of interest but we'll uh we'll try to get as many people in as possible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over here. I'm going to sleep so it's daytime so you can actually see the obstacle course, the eliminator, and then we will run that. Elimin I'll, I'll run you through the eliminator, show you how it's going to work. All right, so I'm over at the pond, and this is the eliminator. This is going to be the final challenge each, each episode of the game show. Basically, what's going to happen here is you're going to start over here at this lily pad. You are going to swim your way over here to, I believe it's right there. There's some markers. You're going to run yourself around. Actually, the markers are right there. You're going to swim over to here. You're going to run around here. You're going to head up this ramp. There's a ladder over here. You're going to head down this zip line. Then as you go across the zip line, you are going to, and I don't know if I can get all the way over there. I'm going to run through the course real quick just to show. You're going to go across this bridge. Now, as you're going down the zip line, I'm going to be in this turret over here, and I'm going to be trying to shoot you off. If you fall into the water, if you fall in the water on the first zip line, you're going to have to swim all the way back and go back up. If you Then as you cross this bridge, I'm going to try to shoot you off. You're going to fall off here on this bounce pad and get up here. As you're going across this bridge, I'm going to try to shoot you off. You're gonna go down this zip line. I'm gonna try to shoot you off of that. If you fall off any of these, these two bridges or this, you have to go back over here and redo the whole thing. And then after that, you're gonna fall down here. There's a little bit of a parkour course here. Jump down here, some jumping things at the end and get through there. Now I did this on stream the other day and it took me about, I think two minutes. And of course I did fall off even though I already know the course. So the course is not super easy. So let's head on over here and I will just quickly run you through it just so you can see it and get an idea. I don't wanna, I was I could leave it as a surprise, but I don't want to give anybody an unfair advantage because anybody that saw me build it would know exactly how it's going to go. And it's a little dark. I do apologize for that. I did sleep. So basically, what we're going to be doing here, and stamina will be turned on. We're going to have stamina to make sure it's turned on. And I'm not sure about armor. We'll figure out armor. Might put might give people a shield so you can possibly block the pebbles that are being shot at you. So essentially, when the timer starts, you're gonna or you're I'm gonna say go. You're gonna go here. The goal is going to be to get the fastest time possible, and then the three contestants will be ranked based on the fastest time. So we're just going to swim over here pop up here and then you are going to run around here through the gates basically so we got these gates over here i'll probably put another maybe put it, actually we i do have these up so this tells you where you need to go run across here jump through and then we can turn it off you're going to jump in here and we're going to go up this now mind you you're going to have your stamina so you're not going to do it this fast then you're going to run up here to this ladder pop one up top here now this is where the real fun begins because as you zip line down here i will be trying to knock you off with a with the turret that's probably gonna be hard for me to knock you off because this one is really fast and i'm only gonna have this little window here so you should be pretty safe then you're gonna head up here across this ramp once you get to the bridge here i'm gonna be able to shoot i might put some maybe i'll put some barriers up here to, for people to hide behind so it's not a straight run I haven't decided that yet this is gonna be a tough part here you're gonna fall down here bounce and shoot here i'm not gonna be shooting while you're here once you get up to this bridge though we'll be trying to knock you off again so we're going to run up here and then you're going to fall down here, go down this zip line, which is a little bit slower, try to shoot you off here. And we're going to fall down this thing. Hopefully I don't fall off this time because this is actually tough. If you miss this, you've got to jump. You have to go all the way back. Oh, I actually skipped the jump. Okay, we got a little bit of skippage there. Go across here. And like I said, if you fall in the water, there's not going to be any lily pads. I mean, there's not going to be any uh, the gliders. If you fall in the water, you're going to have to go all the way back over to that little part star there at any point here. So we're going to jump over the spike traps go through the jerky rack thanks to some i can't remember who it was somebody suggested using jerky racks that was a pretty cool idea jump over this avoid this spike trap jump over the tall wall jump over the tall wall one last spike trap through the door close the door once the door is closed your time is finished and that is the eliminator that's the final obstacle that's the final obstacle like i said the idea is to basically have as many people as possible it's feasibly possible to get to compete against this we're gonna do three people at a time i'm gonna be the gladiator the three contestants 
whoever scores the most points and we'll have all the scoring. I'll figure out all the scoring before we start the first round. More likely than not this week, I'll probably be finalizing everything, maybe tweaking some of the games a little bit. If you have any suggestions for other games you think would be maybe better, we could put those in there. Maybe I can add another. There's got to be an odd number of games. Actually, that doesn't have to be, but the way it's going to work is basically like you're going to get a score for each game and, or you're going to be ranked. So for this, whoever gets the best time is going to be ranked one. So they'll get the most points. Two will get the third, second most points and three will get the third. For the other games, it'll just be whoever wins. Like, we'll figure it out. Basically, whoever has the highest score will win. The winner from each episode or show or basically a yeah, show will advance to the next round. Not sure how many rounds we're going to have. It's all going to depend on how much interest there is in the game in this game. So let me know if you're interested in the comments down below. Make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you have any suggestions, leave those with your comment down below. Let me know you're interested and we'll figure out if we can get any other games in here or if you think there's any tweaks that might make the game a little bit better feedback is definitely appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video